Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we uh, made our way through the other half of the Temple of the Ancients. Man, almost forgot for a second. Um, and now we kind of, you know, we got the Black Materia and we ended up giving it to Sephiroth. And now we got to, I guess, go find Ares because now she's trying to solve this all on her own. So let's, uh, let's get... Who is this dude? You awake? Those people were so worried that they stayed by your side until you woke up. You sure do have good friends. Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know. Which is it going to be? You want to find out about yourself or are you afraid to find out? Either way, if you stand around here, all you're going to do is worry about it. Even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky head and bring you back to normal. Cloud, it'll be alright. We're all here with you. But if it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. You're right. He's right, isn't he? Come on, let's go find Ares. All right. Now yeah, we've been here already, so it's all good. Oh, nice. We got our plane here. Now... Where am I supposed to go? Probably this way. City of the Ancients. Don't really know where it is. Assuming it's further this way. Now, if you are enjoying this uh, Let's Play uh, and want to see more Final Fantasy uh, Let's Plays, uh, hit that subscribe button, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, Kachoot, or Odyssey. And check out these episodes live on YouTube and Twitch. I never did this. Let's do this real quick, if we still can. Actually, let's also save it. It's been a while. I think we can still do this. That's my son. Okay, nothing new here. Let's see if we can actually get started. Talk to this dude, come on. There. Okay, ready. You have ten enemies. They appear to be many beasts. I usually don't do I don't I don't play this game. I just wait for them to come here and I can fight them myself. We just speed this up at least so we don't have to wait that long. Still pretty slow, but... <sighs> I like how they turn this into uh, a board game and uh, integrate. It's definitely funner than this. Oh, I can speed this up, right. That helps a little bit. I don't think you get anything different. Oh, I could do this at different parts of the game. The first time I came here, I wasn't able to do it, so... Maybe if I put some money into it, 
than I would have been able to, but I didn't have the money. But I wanted to do this because you get the, I think you get the Phoenix Materia, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Alright. I think we're about to uh, get out and fight. Enemy invasion. My god, they're attacking. They're counting on you. Easiest way to win this sector by rushing down so the game ends as soon as there are no enemies left on the map. So if you kill the first enemies before others spawn, you win. It, it, doesn't it? I guess if. I guess we could put. Can we put our own fighters all the way at the bottom? Because it takes time for them to walk down there. Oh, we did get a claw though. I wonder if you get that claw if you if you don't fight that dude. We made it through that one somehow, but Shinra will be back. Be sure and scout the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. Petrifies? Oh, well, it's not really that much of an item. Oh, okay. Only put him down midway. Is that it? I thought we only had to do this once. How are things going? Seems like there's no sh activity for Shinra. Alright, maybe we gotta talk to this old man down here. Oh, it's you guys. How are things going? Okay, let's rest. Okay? Yeah, let's rest. Oh, but do you actually have to do it multiple times to get the Phoenix uh, Materia? I thought you only had to do it once. come back here. Usually there's a cutscene for that uh, phoenix that didn't, didn't automatically trigger, so we probably have to come back and do it again. Says, but we'll just keep uh, flying around, I suppose. That's that's calm. Oh, we get the Phoenix later when we uh, have to do it for story reasons. Yeah, I'm misremembering a lot of stuff. Alright, that's not it. Let's keep going. Got a mid car. Oh, it's that Bone Village, right? I guess we'll do a little exploring. Welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. Where is... I think we actually... I, 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 maybe we did have to come here. Where is the City of the Ancients? The City of the Ancients? Oh, you must mean the Forgotten City. Uh, yeah, why didn't you answer my question? Are you talking about that girl? I warned her, but she went into the sleeping forest anyways. Excavating is great. 
It's like a history of the planet told in the land. The lunar harp is somewhere in the ground here. We, we could start excavating it for you if you want us to. Good stuff. Yeah, it's not buying anything. You don't really need it. Uh, other than the lunar harp, what else do you want us to dig for? That's where that dude was. I don't know how many of these we can do at once. Members will calculate the tremors and dig up the buried items. The dig point is where the staff line of vision meets. Move to the dig point and press Y to select. The staff will dig for the item. Now the staff will dig here. The results will be placed in the treasure box overnight. Other than the lunar heart, the treasure, I guess. I don't know how that worked. Did it only do the one I... Let's just uh, try one. Once awakened, you can, you can take. They say the forest will open a road for you. The girl in pink who just went in used the lunar harp to get through. Ask the guy in the tent below. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now the forest is asleep. Anyone who wanders in while it's asleep gets confused. You can go in, but you might not come out. But just now a girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. You think you'll be alright? Now let's go in here. Yeah, thought something would happen.
see if that's good. If not, there's gotta be some other way to do this. in the forest for now. I keep seeing something over here. There it is. Kuchata material. Is this summon? I don't remember that summon. at the intersections of where they are all looking at after the search. Can you even do that when they're... It looks like they're all looking in different directions. Let me take a look, better look at that. I thought they dug wherever they, uh, wherever they were standing. I didn't realize. I mean, he's looking this way, so it's gotta be, like, right here. Right? So he's pointing right here, I guess. I don't really know. Seems about right. Nope. Screwed that up again. Always oh, a ton of money here. Put a whole bunch of these. Probably get a better, uh, get a better triangulation. other so it's gotta be gotta be right here hopefully that was good enough oh, 
final. Do a quick save. Alright, let's go into this forest now. Got the materia here, so we don't have to worry about it. The sleeping forest awoke. Oh, that was much easier. Well, let's see how what we're dealing with here with these enemies. Maybe I should switch him back to a weapon that has slots. So we could at least be leveling stuff up. Switch to a. I mean, that's weaker, but that's only two slots, though. There's a save point in there. This is getting close to the end of the episode. It would be interesting when I get to, I mean, because I play this since I'm doing like, all those Final Fantasy playthroughs. The first six were pretty nice because there were a couple of them that were uh, blind to me. I didn't play them before. But after after six, I've, I've at least played all of them. But I haven't beaten all of them. And I haven't touched some of them in a long time. So like, like Final Fantasy XII, for example. That's a game I haven't, I haven't played in a long time. So I'm kind of excited to play those. actually finish them. My own my biggest problem starting something and never finishing it. I mean even for like I think for Final Fantasy uh, eight and nine I got to the final boss. I didn't beat it, so... That'll be fun. Eight's actually one of my, uh, my favorites. There's something about it. It's like the black sheep of the... Final Fantasy. Oh, I was about to say, what's going on? Can I save it here? Sure can. Let's see what's over here. Oh, right, this place. Anything to explore here? I 
Oh, there's a save point here. Not what I was expecting, but that's good since this episode's almost done. Do a couple minutes of exploring here. I don't want to go here yet. I could have sworn there was battles in this place. Maybe there isn't. What's up here? There's no triangle. Oh, oh the infamous location. We'll come back to that too. Let's go check the other side first. There's some cool stuff in here, right? Guard swords. I thought there was like something else in here. Ugh. Words of the ancient? No good, I can't understand. This is the place with the extra stuff. Yeah, there's a bed. Shall we take a break here? Yeah, sure, why not? Can't hurt. I feel it. Cloud, what is it? Ares is here, and so is Sephiroth. What? Sephiroth? But how can you tell? It's not an excuse. I feel it in my soul. Then we better get up off our lazy asses. Right, let's hurry and find Ares. Yeah, I knew there was something in here. At least in one of these uh, buildings. Alright, we got two more to check out. We have to find Ares. Okay, can't go that way. At least there's no fighting in this place. I'll walk around as much as I want. Ares' voice coming from there. Let's just hit the save point. This is probably a good place to end this episode. In the next episode, we will explore this forgotten capital and uh, find Ares and Sephiroth. I predict uh, some uh, bad times are about to come in these next couple episodes. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, uh, check out the, the next episode when I uh, upload it. So thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good day.